going on YouTube today I'm gonna show you guys how to use beamer code for the M55 um, I'm gonna show you guys how you can do it in literally the middle of nowhere um, I'm in a business that nobody's at right now it's pretty far from my house so I'm gonna show you guys step by step on how to use beamer code um, it's very very simple it's basically just like the MHD thing um, you're gonna need a uh, MHD Bluetooth device which I'll show you here in a minute and that's all you'll need and yeah let's get right into it all right so with this device right here uh, i've showed it in my previous video before uh you'll need this device right here it's the mhd tuning um bluetooth uh device that pour, uh, ports right into your uh, ecu um so you're gonna need this which is about pretty sure 60 bucks and then you'll need a uh, the app which is completely free um so you just need these two things um or you can have a different one i'm pretty sure they have a wide range of uh, other things you connect to your car uh, for this app uh, specifically. Um, but yeah guys, let's uh, go and connect this to the ECU. And after it's connected to the ECU, I'll uh, show you guys what to do. All right, now it's plugged into my ECU, my car is completely turned off. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna press the start button one time without your foot on the brake. All right, and then you're gonna want to make sure your headlights are turned off. This is turned all the way down. Um, your air conditioning is turned all the way off. Um, and this right here is turned off as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the options thing down here We're gonna switch off control display and then you should only be able to see this Okay So now that that's all turned off, we're gonna be directed to the app. Um, we're gonna go ahead and click connect Then we're gonna select the car. Um, they offer the 3 series um, Go ahead and focus this 4 series, 5 series, 6 series, 7 series and all these other ones but we're only going to go to the m5 and the 5 series uh which is for the f7 uh, f10 f11 f18 um so we're going to select that one okay checking the terminal status identifying control units so yeah guys you can do this from literally anywhere it doesn't got to be at your house the reason i did this is because i want to show you guys that it can be performed anywhere um so while this is doing this, shouldn't take too long. There you go. Okay, so you're gonna have all these options. Uh, you're gonna have um, advanced crash, uh, advanced crash safety module. We're not gonna mess with that. We're not gonna mess with the second one. Um, the car access system. If you go ahead and click on that, um, to read the code data, um, you can all you guys can mess with all of this. I don't really mess with any of this. Um, there's just so much stuff in here you can do. Uh, you can do the lock doors automatically, which I'm pretty sure if you click the, um, when you get out of your car and your keys are with you, it'll lock automatically. But I've heard some people that have problems leaving their keys in the car, I don't know why, and the car locks and then they're screwed. So I wouldn't mess with that. Um, so let's go back. Um, the electronics transmission control, I have this turned on. So this is going to enable, uh, enable the sport shifting in your car. So. What you're going to do, if you want this on, you're going to click it, you're going to set it to active, you're going to go back, and you're going to click code right there on the top right. Um, only code one thing at a time. It will screw your ECU, uh, ECU up if you uh, do something wrong. So make sure that you only do one thing at a time when you code something. Um, so let's go back. Um, the footwell module. Um, just come up okay so the angel eye brightness low beam um this used to be a hundred percent but i had to turn down because i have the red um halo lights inside so that's why i turned them completely off um, well turned them down and turn completely off but i turned those down to 16 percent um if we scroll down here i'm pretty sure it's on here um yep here you go fold mirrors automatically um i don't i don't have that turned on basically if you get out you lock the car with your key the mirrors will automatically fold up um, it's a pretty cool future if you guys like that um, But there's all much stuff in here you guys can mess with and look it up and all much of stuff I don't mess with anything like that um, Now the most important thing on here is the head unit. This is where I find everything. Um, so if I click on head unit Okay, so we got the um, Warning chime uh, say if you don't got a seatbelt on it'll chime. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can turn this off Let me check. No, there's just a whole bunch of options on here uh, the Rolls Royce and BMW and how much uh, sounds you can do. Mine's just default. Um, BMW ringtone for Bluetooth. Um, if we go down, uh, the starting animation is when the iDrive system kicks on. It's um, you can set it. So I'm pretty sure on here you got. Oh, can 
can't focus. There we go. We got Christmas ones. We got the M Sport one, the Rolls Royce one, um, and all those. So I got mine on Christmas right now. I still haven't changed it. Um, now the sport displays. Um, this is going to be the most important one. I'm pretty sure you guys are all here for this. Um, if you go down, you're on head unit. You scroll all the way down. You see sport displays. Um, you're going to turn this to active. You're going to go back. You're going to press code. Then you can go back and sport display colors. And you have the option of orange and red. Um, orange, there's too much orange in the car. So I decided just to change it to red. It looks better in my opinion. Um, let's go back. Um, and that's it on that one. Uh, there's also cameras on here and stuff. Uh, if you guys don't have those, then don't worry about that. Uh, let's see what else I can find. Oh, here we go. Instrument cluster. So a cluster up here in the dash. Let's see. Let it all load up. Here we go. Okay. So there's a bunch of stuff you can change on here. You can change the low fuel warning. You say if you want it to be to 60 miles, you can change it. It's on 30 miles, I'm pretty sure, uh, by default. Um, but there's all of that. Um, digital speed and in uh, in, uh, inboard computer. So instead of just being there and then your um, iDrive display up there, you guys can see it. Um, it'll be right there in the middle. I don't really find anything useful for it. I just enabled it. Um, but yeah, that's it. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here, guys. So if you guys want to scroll through um, and look it up and everything, I'm not going to show everything. I just want to get this video out here and how to correctly do it. Um, but there's all that, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a pleasure for me showing you a tutorial on this. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.